What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Jake here, aka Brushstrokes or Z Man. Today I thought I'd show you a little uh, transfer technique that I'm going to use on this helmet. I actually have two of these to do. Um, what the image we're transferring this is Meredith Wilson, the music man. Uh, this is actually the statue of him that I went and took some pictures of and then I kind of photoshopped him. Uh, these helmets are actually for one of my friends who entered the Red Bull soapbox race and he did qualify to make it this year. So um, he will be in the Derby doing these helmets for that. So these will be live on TV. Uh, when is it june yeah june 18th so coming up very soon but yeah i'm gonna show you how i transfer this image i did do a little practice run because i've never tried doing artwork or anything with pinstriping paint so there's just a little practice run i did and my transfer technique you can see right here those are the transfer lines that I used as my guide. If you haven't guessed, this is what we're using. We use Sorol transfer paper. I got the white here. Uh, they make all these different colors you see here. And if you wanna take a screenshot of that, it tells you kind of each what each color works with. So what I did, I printed out my Photoshop design just on a regular piece of paper, cut it to shape, kind of. And then I also took a piece of Sorol paper, cut it to shape. Uh, this is single-sided, so one side is chalky, and the other side is not. Uh, so you can just easily touch it. There you go. You can see which side has the chalk or residue on it. You'll want that facing down. So we want to get this lined up where we want it. Oh, another thing, I did uh, take some just regular tape. I did tape this roll to the back, or to this paper. So I just put a piece there and a little piece there, just on the edges where you're not going to be drawing on. So that way the, these two stay together. You don't want this Sorol like moving around because it is going to get chalk, this chalk stuff all over the place. And the less we move it around, the better. So go ahead and get this lined up where I want it. This kind of has a complex curve on this helmet. It's curving this way, and then it curves in and out here. And then I'm going this way, so. So we'll just kind of want to, everywhere we'll go, we'll kind of want to let the paper lay flat. We'll kind of want to work out of the middle. But next step to transferring, we'll just take our ballpoint pen and go around this design. Um, a little tip for you too. Um, Hobby Lobby sells these, or I'm sure you can find them online. These are jelly roll pens. They're white. I had already used this, uh, this, this copy here for transferring my image to that practice run that I did. And I used the white pen on the outlines. You can see here. That way I didn't really lose them. And now, since I'm doing this image multiple times, I'll use a black pen this time. That way I can see everywhere I've went and made my lines. And then I'm doing two helmets, so I'm going to do this again. So when I do this again, I'll come in with my white pen over the black. So just a quick little easy tip there on, on how to reuse it and know where, you know, make sure that you've traced all of your lines. So I'm going to put you guys on time lapse, but all I'm doing is going to go around, trace this on um, all the lines on here um, that I want to use for my referencing. All right, so I got it all transferred, and as you can see, 
looks like a big old mess right now. Oh, and one thing I don't know if I mentioned or not, um, I do like to use a wider piece of tape when I tape these down. And it kind of keeps, it helps keep it from flipping and flopping. And that way I can always flip it up, check it. It doesn't look right. Just make sure that tape's laying down perfect again. And it should line up perfect. As long as you use a wider piece of tape, that'll help you with that. So that way it doesn't turn on you or anything. So, but yeah, since we're working on matte black, you get really messy. And you can't really blow it off. <laughs> I mean, even with a spray gun, you can't. But you can see my image in there good enough. What I like to do is just take this blue shop rag and a little bit of alcohol and I just go around and clean it up. And try not to get on any of your lines because as soon as you hit it with alcohol, it's going to disappear. Or you can just start painting if you want like that. And then once the paint's done and dry, you can just clean it off then too. So. But yeah, that's all I really had for this video today. I might do a time lapse of this just for another video for you guys to see. Um, so that's all I really had today. Just want to show you how I use that to transfer this image. It looks really messy right now, but we'll clean that up later. Um, this doesn't affect the paint, not for me at least. I use Tamco's urethane uh, brush effects paint, so. Um, I guess I don't use enamels very much, so I don't know how stuff affects those, but I highly doubt it does. A lot of people use the Sorol paper for transferring when they do pinstriping and stuff. So that's all I had today. So until the next video, keep those brushes stroking.